they also pray for four holy beasts. Do you know it? Come with me. We have dragon, unicorn, turtle, and phoenix. Each beast, it has different symbol. This area, they also have four big islands. So the local people, they decided to name them after it. The island over there, when we passed, we just passed over there. That one is the Dragon Island. On the Dragon Island, only local people live inside. No selling, no buying anything inside. All right, and the symbol of the dragon is power and wealthy. Why power and wealthy? Everybody, do you know the king? King of a country, you know, right? Wear the crown and wear luxury clothes. Different kings, different countries, and also different outfits. In Asia, the kings, they always wear the golden robe. On the golden robe, it usually has dragon pattern on the robe. So from the past until now, the people, they always say the dragon stand for power and wealthy. Then next to the dragon island, you see there is a lot of floating houses over there. That one is the fish farm. Inside the fish farm, they grow some fishes like tilapia. Do you know tilapia? Some yes, some no. And another one, they call it elephant ear fish. Elephant ear because the fish looks like elephant ear. We don't have fish that has elephant ear. That's in Harry Potter. We are in reality. We have the fish that looks like elephant ear. Uh, we have the bowl, but is this thing? Forget it. We are done from this side, everybody. Look over there to your right. The island over there is the Unicorn Island. On the Unicorn Island, the local people, they grow honey. They grow tropical fruits. And also, they invented themselves a kind of music. They are smart and they do it by themselves. That's why the local people, they decided to name the island is Unicorn because the symbol of Unicorn is intelligence. Behind the Unicorn Island over there, behind, over this way, everybody, to your left. The island that has a lot of plants over there is the Phoenix Island. The Phoenix Island is like a borderline. Do you know a borderline? From this country to that country. Just like you hop on the airplane, you have to cross the security or something like that. Right? So now, we are still in Mytho City. M-Y-T-H-O. Mytho. Well, later, when we pass the Phoenix Island, we will be in the land of coconut. Do you remember the name of the land of coconut? What is the city? B-E-N-T-R-E. Betre. And also, Phoenix Island, inside they have a small historical place. They talk about coconut religion. Sounds funny, huh? Coconut. Coconut religion is not recognized by the government. So they only in this area. In the past, Vietnam divided by two. First, north, the north, they follow Chinese Buddhism. Down south, we don't have 
religion. Then later, American and French, they come, make us follow Christian. If you know about the war, Christian. Then later, Northern people move to the South. They also bring their Buddhism with them. And in the past, Buddhism and Christian didn't go along too well. So everyday people fight. The creator of coconut religion, his name is Nguyen Thanh Nam. He saw and then he think, why don't I create one religion that has every other religion's rules together? First, he let the cat and the dogs live together. You know why? Cats and dogs, they are arch enemies. They cannot live together. But if he proves they can go together, so does the religion and the people. And he success. But until the year 1990, the religion is over. 1990, the religion is over. But nowadays, there is still small percentage of the people they follow coconut religion. But when they go, they make their IDs. You know the IDs, right? In the religion section, the government will write none. None, because the government did recognize the religions. Nowadays in Vietnam, 70 to 72 percent follow Buddhism. 10 to 15 percent follow Christian. The rest, they follow their own religions. And everybody, the symbol of Phoenix is immortality. But immortality, not for your life. You live and you die. That's the way of the world. So immortality is more is for marriage life. You know marriage life. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Welcome you to the where men have no freedom. Right? <laughs> Not yes. Women have no be the right. Yes. And now everybody, dragon, unicorn, phoenix. What do we missed? We missed the turtle island over there. And the symbol of the turtle. Can you guess? Live a hundred years old. Long life. Long life. And the, how to say, the maybe small or maybe middle percentage of tourists, when they come here, they have a question. They ask, hey, dragon, unicorn, phoenix, they are not real. But the turtle is real. Why they list it in the holy beast. So now everybody, please imagine the turtle in your head. Right? Like I said, turtle live a hundred years old. And in the past, when they look at the shell of the turtle, they believe the shell of the turtle belongs to yin and yang. But you know yin and yang? Earth and heaven. So the lower shell of the turtle is square shape and flat, belongs to yin. Upper shell of the turtle is round shape, belongs to yang, the heaven. That's why they list the turtle in the holy beast. And with that, for some people, they have a funny story. They say, lucky in the past we don't have submarine. 
if you have submarine, you will know under the sea they have another animals that live longer than the turtle. Start with W. Guess what it is? The whale. The whale. If in the past they have submarine, nowadays what do we have? Dragon, unicorn, phoenix, and the whale, not the turtle. But lucky. Now everybody, you can remove your life jacket. 